How's it going, guys? Pop here to watch you, Pineapple Gaming. Don't ask why I'm sitting on the floor. And yes, that is correct. I bought every single Splatoon amiibo as of this video's release. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I do this? I don't know. And you're probably also wondering how much I spent on each amiibo. Um, I have a little chart thing for every time I showcase a new amiibo, I'll be showing how much I spent on that amiibo, how much it would be loose, which implies that it is used or it's not in the box, or, and how much it would be if it was brand new, which means, you know, the opposite of what loose means. For the small portion of you who don't know what amiibo is, allow me to give you a small overview of what an amiibo is. This is an amiibo. Okay, bye. All right, in all seriousness, Amiibo are Nintendo's interactive figurines that you can use in games to unlock bonus content or items in that specific game. Now, Amiibo aren't like Skylanders where you need to buy the figures to play the game, at least that's what they were supposed to be advertised as, but some game decided to... Uh... Amiibo were launched in November of 2014, releasing some Smash Brothers characters like Mario, Link, Pikachu, Kirby, and Samus. These amiibo were used to have the ability to train your amiibo to be able to fight in the game, which back then was a pretty cool feature. Now in 2023, there are over 200 amiibo spreading across multiple different Nintendo series. Heck, even third parties too, like Shovel Knight. Some of these are very, very hard to find, while others you can find at most retail stores. There were amiibo given as trophies for tournaments, some that only had very limited release. Heck, there are even amiibo cards, which are a whole other different story. Now, I've seen a few people on YouTube like MaxMofo who did a video unboxing every amiibo sold to the public, which you should check after this video, of course, but it's very hard to collect every single amiibo, especially with how much people will be selling these things for. Of course, I have my own little collection of amiibo, mainly the ones that I think are really cool or just always wanted to have, but I do not see myself collecting every single one in the near future. Back to the topic of amiibo's functionality in amiibo-compatible games, they aren't very interesting. Most of the time it's just getting more in-game currency, sometimes unlocking a small game mode which I think is kind of annoying, and sometimes being the one thing that will allow you to play the game. But there are two games that I know of that have one of the coolest and most useful functionality, which are Yoshi's Woolly World and... Ah, Splatoon, Nintendo's most recent best-selling IP ever since it came out on the Wii U, and for good reason. Its take on the shooter genre is so wacky, but also very clever. Instead of getting the most kills, you and your team have to ink as much of the turf with your colored ink before the time runs out, and it's such a blast. Not only is the gameplay fun with all the unique weapon options, but also its roster of characters and its wacky culture are also fun. And one of these things that are a part of the Inklings Lejoctoline culture is outfits. In the three games, you were able to wear multiple fashionable outfits, mostly to help you get your and your weapon abilities when playing online. Plus, it also allows you to be more unique looking than everyone else. Now back to the two amiibo that I think actually have a clever usage for amiibo functionality. One was Yoshi's Woolly World, which if you scan any amiibo, the Yoshi would have the same design as said amiibo. Now, there are a lot of designs you can unlock without the use of an amiibo, but I feel like it was necessary for Nintendo to have this be the amiibo's functionality for Woolly World. I mean, come on, look at this, it's cute! And then there's Splatoon, which has somewhat of a similar functionality as Woolly World, where if you scan a Splatoon series amiibo, you can unlock a brand new outfit that you're able to wear while playing. Although, in the first game, the amiibo had another functionality, which was unlocking several Charger Challenges in Octo Valley, which Splatoon fans were not a big fan of. So, after I unbox and take a thorough look at the amiibo figures, I'm going to unlock every outfit and then rank it based on its looks, and see if these are worth buying. So, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so just before we start, this video was uh, long in the making, like I started purchasing this stuff since August, so uh, it's gonna be very, uh, I don't know, a very weird tingling feeling because like I haven't opened some of these in like months, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be really weird getting these things out of the box. But we're gonna start in the order of the game series and stuff, so of course we're gonna start off with the Splatoon 1 uh three set so this one comes with a uh, girl squid and boy one thing i do like about these amiibo that i will like as i've seen so far throughout the uh series is that they do really cool things with the paint so i'm very excited to see that yeah without further ado uh let's give this an open i haven't opened these in a long time oh, oh. 
God help me. Oh. Oh God. Oh no, it's too late. It's already over. It's too late. Oh. Uh, the horror. First amiibo. Girl, according to the box. Not gonna lie, it does feel really nice. I do like it. The one thing I don't like, and some of these amiibo have, is this crack down the middle. It looks really weird. It looks like they had surgery and like have like a brain transplant. I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me. We got to make sure the ink tank looks very nice. And uh, not going to lie, it's, it's, a, it's a mid ink tank in my opinion. Well, yeah, there it is. A girl rocking the splatter shot. Very, very nice. Up next is the green squid amiibo. This one feels really, really nice. Another gripe I had, same with the other amiibo, is th this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't really like this stuff. It, it kind of, I don't know why, it just kind of bothers me. Other than that, it does look nice. I do like the stuff with the paint again, like I've said earlier. Like the paint stuff is really cool. I do like that a lot. Very ba basic, very basic, but other than that, this is a really, really cool amiibo. The last amiibo in this set uh, is Boy, a blue boy to be specific. Of course, there's going to be another blue boy, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Of course, this again rocking the splatter shot, and we gotta rate the rate the ink tank. Again, it's a pretty mid ink tank design, but other than that, it's pretty cool. He looks intimidated, or he looks like he saw something really disturbing. I really like the detail that they put. On some of these amiibo, like this braid here, I really like that. It looks really cool. Huh. There it is. Blue Boy the first. Hold it right there. Hey all, terrible quality green screen pile here to give you a short message. So while I was recording this video, I didn't have the intention of buying the alt amiibo for the Splatoon 1 triple pack. But I already knew if I actually made that decision, I'd get a lot of comments at saying that, oh, you didn't buy the alt amiibo. This isn't every Splatoon amiibo. So I decided to spend more money on this video so to make you guys happy. So here we go. Here is me talking about the Splatoon 3 alts uh, months later after re this recording. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye bye First we have is the green inkling alts. Uh, of course, not a lot of stuff really changed. It's just more of the, the ink and... The weapon's got a sticker now. Honestly, I do like the effort they put to try to make it like a new character or a new amiibo, if you will. So it's not like entirely like, oh, they just changed the hair color or something. Like, no, they, they did a good job. They changed the shoes designs. They changed the shirt design. They gave him a new weapon, even though that's technically the same thing, but with a sticker. And of course they didn't really fix this, but I mean, I don't think they were trying to. Yeah, that is the green inkling alt. Let's move on to the next amiibo. It's the orange squid. It's orange. Yeah, really there's not much else to say that I've not said for the green squid amiibo. It is literally the exact same thing, but it's orange. Last but not least, we have the purple inkling amiibo. It's got some golden boots, some golden shoes, I should say. Same kind of Splatter shot weapon. It's got a little sticky sticker right there. Ink is different. Shirt color is different. That's basically really all there is to say here. There you guys have it. There, there it is. That's it's the alts. Hope you hope you enjoyed it. The next set is the Squid Sisters. Definitely got these before they were uh, restocked for twenty-five dollars. Definitely got it before then. Actually, this is kind of weird. It doesn't look like the Squid Sisters, like, give you any outfits. It just says, like, it looks like you unlock songs or something. It doesn't look like you get any outfits like the other three. That's actually very weird. Again, I haven't really tested the Amiibo yet. I haven't scanned anything. So let's just give it a go and see. <laughs> the pretty box. Ah, I can't even open it. <laughs> First we have is Cali. Again, love what they did with the ink here. I think it's really cool. Um, the dress, or I guess the, uh, I don't even know what this is. This doesn't even look like much of a dress, but I'm just gonna call it a dress anyway. I like the, like the little sparkles here. Very, very nice. 
And yeah, that's not much to say. Uh, let's move on to Marie. All right, so I, I did change setup because this is a lot more comfortable. Next is the Marie Amiibo. Now, some people don't know, but it's actually kind of funny that if you put these, their, their two names together, it's actually, it sounds like calamari. <laughs> you bit. Anyway, let's just keep looking at this Amiibo. As you can tell, this is actually more of a dress or I guess skirt compared to the other one. I believe the ink is actually, no it's not. It is almost completely the same. It's, there's a little difference, but like, other than that, like, it, it, it's very, very close to being the same. It feels nice. I really like this cool little, little slug, I think it is? Or something. I have no idea what these things are. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And yeah, there we, there we have it. There is Calimari. <laughs> I'm never gonna let that go, by the way. Now we're going to the Splatoon 2 Amiibo series. We have quite a lot here. Surprisingly, for this set, there was no like just triple set like for the original. Like they're all like in their own single box, which I think is kind of weird. I mean, I can't, maybe I'm wrong, but like, but yeah, I couldn't find a single triple set of these anywhere online. So I had to buy them separately. So first let's start off with the Inkling Girl. This time it actually does say Inkling Girl, neon pink to be specific. Let's give this a... Ah! All right, so here we have it. Inkling Girl, neon pink. Looking very nice. A lot more ink detailed compared to the first one. He's here rocking the, uh, the splat doolies. Very, very nice. Now, of course, since the uh, Splatoon 2 Inklings and Octolings, they had a different ink tank. Let's take a look at this one. This one uh, is rocking the full tank. Not gonna lie, it does look like just a shaved crayon in there, but not, it's not bad. So uh, they fixed this, but I mean, it's not any, at all even better, but they changed it. So now instead of it being on top, it's on the side, which now actually looking at it more, it it make, looks more of a brain transplant compared to the last one. So you, it, it's, it's a nice touch. You know, I'm happy they, they, they fixed it, but I feel like they should change it somehow. It's, yeah, I don't know, don't like it. But Amiibo's great though. I like the Amiibo overall. Again, I really like this paint detail on here. It looks so good. And of course the, the, the kicks. And yeah, that's the Inkling Girl Neon Pink. Go away. Next up is the Inkling Squid. As you can see here, it looks like you could put uh, some M&Ms in there. So I'm already, this is already my favorite Amiibo. Okay, so one problem I've been having, I've already opened like three, this is my fourth Amiibo box I'm opening and I'm already having this gripe. Every time I open it, like this stuff, like I don't understand. Like how do we get to this? Like, and it gets, <laughs> like, what is this? Yeah, I forget it. I'm bringing my knife. Don't try this at home. Ah! All right, here we have it. The second Inkling Squid Amiibo. Already loving this one compared to the first one. And I, I'm probably gonna test this later. If you could put M&Ms in here, cause it looks like a good little bowl for candy. Uh, not a big one, but it's, it's, you know, it's good enough. Yeah, look at it. It's angry. It's, it's about a fly. And they also improved on the side here, as it, it looks like. Yeah, they did a much better job with that. Really nice detail. Really cool. Simple, but really nice. This is probably my favorite uh, Inkling Squid slash Octoling Amiibo out of all of these so far. Let's move on to the next one. All right, last but not least of the three, we have... Inkling boy that doesn't say the color for some reason, but whatever another thing is I find funny is with some of these amiibo They have different face postures like this one. It actually has showing its teeth The other one is just doing a little grin without the teeth Open up there we go. All right, here he is. This is the green inkling boy. I love the details on the glove I think that's really nice. I like the hairstyle. I don't like how it's just, there's stuff on the top and then everything's just bald. Other than that though, really, oh, this is the Inkling Boy Amiibo. Again, really, really nice. Really like the details. Very good Amiibo. 
hopefully this outfit is actually good. All right, we're moving on to the next set. Pearl and, oh my God, Pearl and Marina Amiibo dual set, the second one we have. And also our very first Octoling, yay! These are the new stars for Splatoon 2. I definitely didn't buy this after it was restocked for $25. Come on, I'm so cool. Why would I do that? All right, let's take a look at one of these at a time. So first we have is the one with the smallest bangs, Pearl. This is a pretty controversial character, mainly because again, with the bald head and the singular tooth. But honestly, I haven't really had a problem with her. Maybe because I wasn't like with the hype of Splatoon 2. I, I, I joined in pretty late. But yeah, I like the hair. It's nice, it's really cool. I love her little crown. I do like this long jacket and the big zipper little thing here. I have no idea what it's called, but I do like the little zipper uh, on that jacket. It looks really nice. And it's also on the boots too, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, very nice amiibo. Um, again, what is this? Why is there a line? I, what, did we not, like, what was going on here? Oh, God damn. I'm telling you, it's always only with the girls. Why is it only with the girls? Why do they only have the brain transplant? I'm not seeing this on any guy, even with the line or something. Not seeing it at all. This is so weird. I wonder even if Marina has it. We've already had this happen two times already. And yet, the, I don't know. There it is, Pearl. Uh... The baldest inkling alive. Uh, let's uh, move on. The last amiibo in this dual set is Marina. Is Marina! This is the Octoling. So look at all these Octoling tentacles on Marina. She is rocking out with a different styled zipper this time. Is she doing with the boots? Yes, she is. And I do like the paint, of course. We can't forget about the paint. Ah! I do like the headphones because she is technically a DJ. So yeah, that is Pearl and Marina. Really nice amiibos. Again, I don't know why she had to have this line, but other than that, yeah. Let's uh, move on to the next amiibo. The Octoling 3 set. This one is actually still, has not yet to be restocked, but it's probably one of the most expensive, after the restocked, one of the most expensive amiibo set in the series. It was lucky enough to get this pretty cheap. All right, so we've got the Octoling Boy, Octoling Octopus, and the Octoling Girl. Uh, oh God, you got, oh my God. What are they doing? What is this? All right, up first we have is Octoling Boy, rocking out with the brush, the Octo Rush specific. I myself am a brush main. I, though I'm an ink brush, but getting an amiibo that rep is representing the uh, a brush is always uh, a okay in my book. And looking at their, uh, oh wow, there is no ink to be seen. I, maybe these little lines. Okay, I've never played Octo Expansion. I have it, but I have yet to play it. Yeah, I, I d don't see any ink. I guess there is a there's a very low uh, ink tank rating. I do like the detail on the brush. I like the little strands, like an actual brush. I do like how they're wearing leather. I do like that. I think leather is really cool. There's not really much else to say, other than like it's really well detailed. And again, it's w using a brush, so that's amazing. But other than that, yeah, that is Octoling Boy with Octo Brush. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Next up is the Octoling Octopus Amiibo. This one is looking all rough and tough with its arm crosses. I uh, really like this cool little paint swirl that's going on over here. The, I think they do a really good job with the, the squid slash octopus Amiibos, but especially with the paint and stuff. It just looks so nice. There's so much to look at, not just the octopus, because like, honestly, I'm looking more at the paint than the, than the octopus itself which I guess is saying something. This is a really nice amiibo. I like this one. So let's move on to the final amiibo in the set is the Octoling Girl rocking with the charger. I believe it's some kind of charger. I love the leather. I love the, the shoes. Stuff like this, like always just makes me squeeze. It's like this, they just put so much little detail. They didn't have to, but they did. Not, not serious with the paint, but uh, you know, I, I should probably play Octo Expansion uh, 
sometime in the future, if I have time. I do have it, just haven't had time to play it. But yeah, really love the Octoling Amiibo. Uh, this is really nice. So there you have it. These are all three of the Octoling Amiibos. These are really nice, very well made, very well detailed. All right, let's move on to the next. We have the Splatoon 3 Triple Set. This is the only Splatoon 3 set right now. As of recording this, I really hope they have a uh, Shiver Fry and Big Man Amiibo because goddamn, oh, those would be awesome. Starting with the last Octoling we'll be opening. Let's get to opening. Can we get a clean rip? No. Yeah, this is the Octoling Blue. This is the second blue male octopus slash squid amiibo. I think this is a blaster. I forget which gal this one is. I'm gonna say it's .52. It doesn't really say which one it is, but yeah. The hair looks really nice. I do like the design on the shirt and the, just the pose and everything. And again, the weapon, really nice looking. Really like that. Let's move on to the next amiibo. All right, up next is the Inkling Yellow. This one is rocking the bow weapon. I don't know the, if I keep forgetting, the, I think it's like the Tri-Stringer or Tri-Stinger. I don't remember the name, but it looks really badass. All right, here she is, the Inkling Girl. I just like the how huge this weapon is. It looks so nice. I feel like it's not as super detailed, but I mean, Again, there's not really much like little letter detail they give out, but it does look really cool. Actually, no, never mind. That looks really nice. I like that. I love the detail of the stripped shirt. And also a little detail is that she has a, uh, a little cut eyebrow there. That's actually unique. I didn't notice that. Love the hair. Ah, uh, okay. I was scared there, but they actually kind of made it a little different and I actually don't mind this that much. They actually didn't make it like a severed little like straight line. They kind of curved it, make it like this piece is different. And I actually don't mind it that much again, but you know, it's a lot more improvement. They improved on it since they could never fix it. And I don't know what it is. Like I'm gonna look back at the, uh, this amiibo. This one doesn't, this one actually doesn't have it. This one does, this one doesn't. It's, so weird that only the girls amiibo the girls have the line it's so weird all right another another solid ink tank i really like this one very very nice i do like how i mean this is probably a detail that happened in most games but this one it actually shows how much ink you have especially with this red line right there it's more visible and i do like that a lot but yeah it looks really nice again love the paint such a good amiibo and yeah, let's move on to our last amiibo from Splatoon 3. All right, the last but not least from Splatoon 3 is Small Fry. I actually like this decision because they actually use the little bugger that they uh, that you have that you can play with in the story mode. All right, here we have the Small Fry, the little buddy on your adventure. I love the little detail in the salmon eggs. I think that's really cool. And I also like how goofy this guy looks with the little mohawk. Very, very cute. There's not really much to say about this one. I just think it's goofy. But yeah, other than that, pretty damn good amiibo. And that concludes our Splatoon 3 amiibo. And now we're down to one last amiibo. Now last but not least is the Smash Bros. Amiibo. If you have been living under a rock, Inkling was one of the first characters to be announced for Smash Bros. Ultimate. So of course she had to have her own Amiibo. Clean open, clean open, clean open. Clean. Oh. Close enough. Here we have it, the last Amiibo to look at, which is the Inkling Smash Bros. Amiibo. Now, oh, there it is. There's that line, I was like, wait, I'm not seeing it. How did they do it? I knew it. Those cheeky son of a guns. We can say that now it's running on almost half an ink tank. Uh, so that is actually pretty nice. I'm probably gonna raise that a bit high on the ink tank tier list for the Amiibo. Yeah, it's, 
it's just what you'd expect. It is the Inkling Amiibo, really nice design, pretty glossy, very nice, really nice feel to it. And yeah, that is the Smash Bros. Amiibo. Now that I have all the Amiibo, it's time to unlock the outfits. So one issue I had when scanning the Amiibo was how long the process was. I had to first register the Amiibo to the Switch because this was my first time using these Amiibo. Then I had to nickname my Amiibo, which was followed by me having to scan the Amiibo again so it could be registered to my Switch. After registration was complete, I had to scan the Amiibo again so the figure would pop up in the game. After my Amiibo asked me if I wanted to be friends, I had to scan my Amiibo again. And then I was able to unlock my gear. And I had to do this 20 times. So while scanning all of the Amiibo, I found out that you start off by unlocking the shoes. And to unlock the rest of the gear, you have to win a lot of battles. Now, personally, I think this is a little stupid, but it's not a huge deal. So after winning and losing and winning and then losing some more, I managed to unlock all the Amiibo gear. Now, unfortunately, while I was recording my reactions, I didn't have a lot of enthusiasm. They just give you shoes. So I'm going to be doing a tier list of every Splatoon Amiibo outfit and rank them based on my opinion. Now, I will apologize if I get some of you upset with these opinions, but this is just how I feel about them. All right, guys, you know the drill. We're going to be ranking all of these outfits and see if they're worth wearing or worth buying. So without further ado, let's begin. First we have is the school uniform. Apparently this is the fan favorite. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's wrong, but a lot of my friends really like this outfit. Honestly, I'd wear it. So that's it today. Next up is this one. I forget what this one's called, but I'm gonna call it robot, robot outfit. Yeah, robot outfit. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of this. I think it's a little clunky, a little too silly. I feel like when it comes to Splatoon outfits, you're supposed to look stylish, and this does looks this is the opposite of stylish. So it's not bad, but I think it could be better. C. Also, I realize that uh, we do not have an F tier. Let's get an F tier in here. That's a G, not an F. Okay, looks like the next one is a samurai outfit. Um. I feel like I'd only wear this at a Splatfest. This is too much. I, I feel like it's overdressed, if that's the right word to say. Personally, wouldn't wear it. It's not bad. Most of these aren't bad. It's just that most of these I wouldn't really wear unless it's for a Splatfest. So I'm gonna put this in a D tier. Okay, so remember when I was doubting that the Cali Marie Amiibo would have actual outfits? Well, apparently I'm wrong because there are two here outfits. So this is the one that you get when you scan the Cali Amiibo, and this is the one when you scan the Marie Amiibo. They're not bad, but I am going towards Marie's uh, outfit. Or this isn't bad. These two aren't bad, but I don't know. That's just me. So I, I'm going to put these both in B tier, but I, I do prefer the, the second version the most. Next up is the Splatoon 2 Amiibo gear. So we got another school outfit. This one isn't as good looking as the original but it's not bad b tier oh my phone okay so it looks like the squid slash octoling amiibo have this trend to basically wear space outfits because what the hell is this like i mean it looks cool but i wouldn't wear this i mean i have worn it before as a gag because of how goofy it looks but i don't see anyone wearing this if you do wear it no hate but to me this is like there's a lot of cooler stuff you can wear. It literally looks like Splatoon's ver uh, version of a Stormtrooper. I'm sorry, man, but I'm going to put an F tier. That is really ugly. Next up is the Inkling Boy, Green Boy. Uh, this is the... I might slap my leg. This is the Ninja Outfit. This one I like, and there's also another alternative version of this. But since we're ranking this one, this is my favorite. I'm probably gonna put that in A tier because ninjas are badass. I like ninjas. So a tier. All right, so now it's the Pearl and Marina outfits. I think that I, I really like the sweater and the and the chain. I'd, I'd wear this. I'd put it in A. Marina one though, my Splatoon character isn't a girl, so I wouldn't be wearing this, but style-wise, I think it's cool, so I put it in B. This one's a knight armor. So I think the helmet really puts it down because I really like the boots and the in the armor but the helmet's like so big and it doesn't look that good in my opinion but just because of like the other two parts like the shoes and the apparel I will 
put that at B tier. It's it, it, if the helmet was cooler or better, then it would be uh, A tier. All right, next up is what is this? It's like a Mickey Mouse clone. I, I feel like someone would wear this as a gag. There's no way no one would actually be like, this is my favorite costume. That is garbage. I'm putting that in F. This is a witch. I really like the hat and the boots. I do think the apparel though, for the guys, it's not the best. I do like the girl version of it. The skirt's really nice. So I'm gonna put that in A tier. And also like my boots are my, probably my favorite part of this gear. So. All right. Now we're moving on to the last three, which are the Splatoon 3 Amiibo gear. I don't like this one. I mean, some people might like it, but this isn't my favorite. It's not bad. I mean, it's 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 better than the uh, these two in F tier, and I'd probably say it'd be better than the Samurai suit, but I don't know. I just wouldn't wear it. Now, the Yellow Inkling girl, on the other hand, that is a badass. That is, that deserves an A tier. I like the jacket. That's cool. All right. Last but not least, we have the small fry amiibo. Uh, I see what they were trying to do with this. And it's not bad, but not my personal taste. I think with this helmet, with the night armor, it might look better. But it's not terrible. So I will put it in B tier. This is all of the Amiibo gear ranked. And of course there was not like, there were alternate gender versions of these, but this tier list didn't have them. So I apologize for that. Thank you guys for watching me rank. Now, before I end this video off, I just wanted to mention a couple things. So one, you're probably wondering how much I spent in total on this video. Welp, I did the calculations and So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is one of my most expensive videos I've ever done. Another thing I did want to mention is if you just want the Amiibo outfits and you don't want the figures, just buy the Amiibo coins. There's a lot of people selling them online and if you want the figures and the costumes, then I have a suggestion for you. So not all 20 have different outfits. The green alt Amiibo and the Smash Bros Inkling Amiibo have the same outfits as the orange Inkling Girl Amiibo. Same goes with the rest of the alts, the orange squid and purple Inkling Boy. It can do the exact same thing as the previous two. So yeah, that's it. That's all the Splatoon Amiibo. And I gotta say, this was quite an adventure, uh, an adventure I never thought I'd ever do in my life. But honestly, even though I spent a lot of money on this video, I am really happy I have them all now. So I can you know, be cool. So would I ever do this again? Probably not, considering how expensive this is. And I don't know what Amiibo series I'd do next. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye So Magic Conch, you want to end this video off? No. Oh.